a laryngoscope. This is a Mac plate. So you can tell it's a Mac because it's got this nice curvature that follows the natural curvature of the oropharynx. The light at the end should be nice and bright. You do not want a dim light. If it's dim, either your handle needs to be recharged or you need to, uh, a new handle. This is a Miller blade. It's straight, 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 straight. So there is a difference in blade placement. Shoot, I had a picture up in the other room. But the, um, the tip of the Mac blade goes into the vellecula. What's the vellecula? The tongue. Yeah. yeah, so it's the space between the epiglottis and the base of the tongue. So when you, if your Mac blade is placed appropriately in somebody's mouth, you will still see the epiglottis hanging, kind of like a curtain in front of your view of the cords. The Miller blade, the straight blade, you lift the epiglottis, so there's no epiglottis in the way, and you should just see the cords. So there's a difference in where you place the blades. Um, you will see in practice, many people use the Mac 4 blade as a Miller blade. That is not how it's designed technically, um, because then you're placing a lot of pressure, I think, on the epiglottis with the tip of the blade because it's curved. But you'll see it, you'll see it plenty. Um, let's see, any other 